Hi, Hal. I'm Jay Prakash Nagati Hali, author of uh, Fear Not Failures. Um, as I've already assured you, I'm going to read all the chapters for you. Uh, the introduction video as well as the chapter one video is already uploaded. And uh, if you have not uh, observed that video, do watch that video. Okay. Here yeah, in this uh, chapter, Victory After Defeat. Chapter number two. Okay, a philosopher with a practical approach to life has said, all success stories have chapters of failures. John F. Kennedy, the former president of USA, says in a trenchant way, those who desire to fail miserably can achieve greatly. One of our old Kannada poet, Raghavanka, says, it means those who walk may stumble, not those who sit. The main import of this excerpt is that those who are determined to achieve something substantial in life should never surrender to fear, doubt and pessimism. Their determination is the result of their stout self-confidence. A Canada adage says, uh, Swasa rivu, Swasa iruvavaregu, Vishwasa bidabeda. Do not give up confidence as long as you breathe. Here are a few examples of those mighty men who nurtured their self-confidence in order to achieve their goal. Eugene Sandro, who looked like a scarecrow in his earlier years, went on to become an indomitable wrestler, such that his surname, Sandro, has become a synonym for wrestler. Edmund Hillary was born a mountaineer. His ambition was to scale the highest mountain peak in the world. Mount Everest, he made many sudden successful attempts. In one such unsuccessful attempt, when he was saying, he is reported to have told Mount Everest as follows. Today, you might have defeated my purpose, but remember, I will come again. I will have grown stronger and more resolute while you will remain as you are. What a statement. True to his resolution, Edmund Hillary scaled Mount Everest in 1953. He became the very first mountaineer to have scaled the tallest mountain peak in the world. He was knighted for his unique achievement. Abraham Lincoln's life is a classic example of astounding victory through sheer grit and determination. He was born to a poor family. Besides deprivation, he had to suffer from bereavements and hardships. He lost his mother when he was nine and his wife when he was 25. His petty, petty job as a clerk was snatched from him when he was hardly 22. He lost his son at the age of 46. He suffered many defeats in life, including presidential election. But his resolute will and determined effort gave him his due. He was selected as president of USA in 1860 at the age of 51. Deprivation, derision, and defeat strengthened Lincoln's resolve and brought him rich dividends. Now, of a page from Indian history, Humayun, uh, the son of Babur and Afghan invader uh, Sher Khan, were at war. The whole world was aware of the strength of the mighty Mughal army. Nobody did challenge him. Omayon too believed so until he tasted defeat in the hands of Sher Khan. He neither took his enemy seriously nor did he prepare his army to combat the enemy. He was in his earlier years rather indolent and easygoing. As he was immature and inexperienced, he could not gauge the strength and invincibility of Sher Khan. This Afghan invader had conquered almost the whole of North India, but Humayun was rather foolhardy to go to war against mighty conqueror. He suffered a humiliating defeat 
in June 1539. This defeat made Humayun introspect himself. He did so and understood the causes of his shameful defeat. He also consulted his counselors and within six or seven years, he reconstructed his army and learned to plan better and execute the plan effectively. Needless to say, he succeeded tremendously and became a solid architect of the mighty Mughal Empire. And now for an example from what is called the Tinsel Town or the Film World, in this world, Big B or Amitabh Bachchan, he's almost a legend today. But when he started his career in Bollywood, the first 13 films in which he starred as hero flopped. Not merely his rivals in the profession, even his close friends suggested that he should shut up shop and go back for home for good. But the yes actor's persistence and perseverance paid rich dividends. With the release of Janjeer, in which he displayed all his histrionic abilities, he achieved the highest position in the film world from which he has not been ousted. His son Abhishek Bachchan's first few films were flops, but the highly experienced father advised the son not to lose heart, but to try again and again, which with rejuvenated effort and ability. This sage advice has borne fruit and today Abhishek is an actor of repute. Now for the story of Ken Noguchi. He was a young mountaineer and his great ambition in life was to become the youngest mountaineer of the world who had scaled the tallest mountain peaks of all the six continents of the world. By the time he reached 21 years of age, he did scale the highest peaks in five continents of the world. The only mountain peak he was yet to scale was Mount Everest. He had to abandon his first attempt owing to hostile conditions. He could not succeed even in his second attempt because of terrible atmospheric pressure, but he resolved not to be subdued by any hostile condition or pressure. He trained himself rigorously for three hard years. His resolution, training and sustained effort were crowned with success. He scaled the highest mountain peak in the world, Mount Everest in his 25th year. A record proves that he is the youngest mountaineer to have scaled all the tall six mountain peaks in the six continents of the world. The achievement of Indira Gandhi is also worth recording. The imposition of emergency in India in 1975 was not a politically wise decision. So she paid a very costly price for it. She was defeated lock, stock and barrel in the 1977 general election. That defeat intensified her resolve to win outstandingly in the next general election. She did win as she had hoped and turned out to be the most feared and highly capable Prime Minister of India. The last example in our list is that of Leo Tolstoy. History says that he was a, a less than average student who failed in his school examinations. But today he ranks with Shakespeare, who was also a trant and undistinguished student as a great immortal, world-class writer. His war and peace is a masterpiece, just as Hamlet is Shakespeare's. Finally, a quote from David Brinkley, the hardship and difficulties with others cause in our lives or bricks with which we lay the foundation of our lives. Our success in life is due to those bricks. How do you feel this uh, second chapter? In the next video, I'll present the third chapter, Success Stories of the Disabled. Okay, I'll do it for that video also. Uh, how do you find this uh, second chapter, Victory After Defeat? Please comment. If you have any questions, do comment like and share with your friends and relatives. If you are not subscribed Transformation Unlimited and Jayaprakash Nagtail YouTube channels, do it right now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.